Hey all, welcome back to the Link to the Past. Le Link to the Past. Let's play, <laughs> uh, motherfucker. Uh, we're gonna show things for Palace today. Link to the Past. <laughs> nah. Hey, what? Welcome to the Easter Palace. This is the first dungeon in the game, and you're gonna want to ignore these two rooms because they're pretty much dead ends right now. What you're gonna do is we're gonna open this and go into this first room. Anyway, so go continue on the with main your path? shooting on Lene. Hey, hey, don't you trash best girl. These... Oh, well, she is best girl indeed. Those are called Pogo. They're hentai monsters. Let's put it blunt. Jesus I'm Christ. looking for them on the enemy list. Those of our quote underworld. Huh, I'm not. I'm not seeing them on this enemy list. That's yeah. Odd. It's actually. This is actually one of my favorite. These traps here are gargantuan balls and balls. Yes, Legon. Thank you for pointing out the fact that they are indeed. Balls. That's what the enemy name list says. Really? <laughs> wow. Yes. So you, you were saying? But back in the subject, this is one of my. This is one of my favorite tracks in this game. The dungeon, really? the uh, palace theme. Yeah, pretty atmospheric, I must say. I agree. It's one of my favorite dungeon themes in the series, to be honest, because I do like it. Just it doesn't grate on the ears. You can listen to it for a long time, even when you're stuck in a puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty atmospheric in and of itself as well. Like it does, it does rise some, it does rise the tension of the of the area, and you know. These enemies here well. are called Stalfos. Yeah. Yeah. These are ones that will be series regular. Yeah, their design is and gonna change all... a lot in the future, but they Yeah. They go from cartoonic dumb skeletons to just threatening skeletons in general. Or, yeah, in, and... twi in, the, or in the case of Twilight Princess, they teach you how to fight. Yeah. Right. As yeah, or in the case of Twilight the Princess, jump. they are you. <laughs> yeah. Twilight Which Princess is, is so weird for Pistolfos. Yeah, which is a little bit of a precursor to Twilight Princess, because that's how that kind of works. Oh, they tricked me! They got me! Oh, oh you're no. so scary. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh, just no. back them into a It's almost like I can just back them into a corner and their jumping means nothing. Yeah, that's kind of the whole point of them. I have the, feel I have the feeling that they want- that the developers wanted to really throw you off your game in that- in that regard, but... Once you figure it out, it doesn't work. It's yeah. Once you, the sad thing is, in other dungeons, sometimes you'll go through those kind of rooms, and unlike this one, which doesn't really reset, sometimes enemy rooms like that, which are in most of the dungeons in the game, will reset the enemy pattern. So it kind of sucks. But in that case, I got away with it a little bit. What I really don't like is the fact that you know that the Stalfos are pretty much just stole the game. Like you have. They try to. You, yeah. Yeah. They're, like, they're called Stalfos to because they stall the game. <laughs> <laughs> I want to quit this LP already. <laughs> yeah, so do I. I hate you. Oh, You're welcome. I regret ever. Bam, Barry. Except all. Oh. <laughs> Those are bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're, I thought they were called anti fairies. No, they're called bubbles. Are you sure? That's what the list says. That's Maybe the list is wrong. It might you be because it doesn't have those uh, not like likes on it. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to... they changed the names of a lot of enemies in later games, but they're basically the the formula blueprint of what they are. You know what? Anyway, we got the dungeon map. Yeah, the dungeon map is pretty much your way to see where you're at, and it's a prim yeah. it's pretty much improved version of the of the original dungeon map from the original game, much like everything else. What map in the original game? <laughs> You know that you mean the one you got with the game case? No, the one. The oh, one that you mean you mean the one in the manual, not the one in the game, because there isn't one in the game. In the original Legend of Zelda, there is a map, but it's, but you know it's yeah, there is, there is a, a map a... called a gray rectangle. Yeah, that's it. A singular <laughs> gray rectangle. No, but there are multiple rectangles. One is just like you know the. You there know, are the... multiple gray <laughs> rectangles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know? I love how that's Yule's description of a good map. Yeah, well, they didn't say it was a good map, to be fair. A it, decent I map, I, good... I guess. No, I said that it didn't even say it's decent. It's shit. It does suck. Oh, not. never mind. I'm wrong. It does reset sometimes when you go to different parts of the map. 
But, uh, if you can't tell by what item we're getting here, as in the <laughs> arrows, like every enemy is dropping, I wonder what the dungeon item is going to be in this dungeon. Hmm. Damn it. Curious. And also enemies that keep running away from you, even though we don't really need to worry about them. Hmm. It's almost like, it, like they're going to get you a rage weapon. Oh, I think... Mm. Okay, I think actually the stick. enemies on the list are called levers. Yeah. L -E 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 anyway, you can find... Yeah, you can find these little button-looking things, and it is... It is Shalstraska Ocelot. He can talk to you telepathically when we touch uh. these tiles. I don't know how that works, but... It's because whatever. you have a liquid snake arm. Uh. Oh my god, you're absolutely correct! <laughs> Why? Oh. You torture me so. <laughs> this is your revenge for that, for the behind the scenes, isn't it? This is your fucking death. Nah, not really. Why do we need revenge when we already annoy you on a daily basis? Yeah. Our mere existence annoys you enough. Why do we need to try? And Legon wonders why. And Legon wonders if I am actually patient when I train, when I when I start training with him and. You call that train? Team Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Fuck you, it let's, is. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's not. Let's save that, that, okay, that, let's that, save that pettiness for later. That enemy that you're having a hard time with right now is called an Igor. I wonder why. Yeah, it's quite I'm not having a hard time with him, I just forgot that you can't touch him. Well, it did appear to, it did seem like you were having a bit of a hard time with him, but I wonder what's in you that do. big chest. Hmm. Well, we're not going to find out, because we need to get the big key. Oh, An actual man. big key that's useful. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> a big key. Yeah, we need the big key, not the boss key. Why can't to... every chest just be unlocked? Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, after like... this game, you'll you'll get after what you want. Game, oh yeah. my god, I have this early, so I can just deal with that. Yeah, after this ah. game, pretty much, like, they, they started to just get rid of the, of the whole, you know... Of the whole, you know, you have to nice. unlock that. You have to unlock the weapon. There first. we go. They decided to just give you mini bo give you bosses that like sub bosses on the on the thing. So yeah. Yeah, they yeah. There's no sub bosses in this game. You pretty much are fighting bosses and just regular enemies. That's it. Anyway, we got our fairy spelled F A E R I E, which is actually a lore spelling of the name. It is not just a misspelling. There is lore that spells fairy like this. Yeah. So, yeah, interesting. It, you think it's a Mason of Legend, you might as well just be called Dumbass. No, it's Dumas. Haha. <laughs> fairies are... Uh -huh. are fairy, <laughs> fairies are actually really old folklore kind of stories. Yeah. Like, you know, mythical fairy tales. Yeah. Which is, again, another... Like, we kind of brought it up already, but, like, old Zelda games for a long time... Really called back to that old Dungeons and Dragons, uh, like Sword in the Stone, mythical folklore, and I kind of appreciate it. But it definitely, I can definitely see why they they called it quits on that after a while. Yeah, because that can also, get a little, it can get a little boring pulling from the same bag of tricks all the time. Which, not yeah. to say that it's bad, it just gets dull after a while. Yeah, like, whereas Breath of the Wild takes that more Game of Thronesy lore appeal. Yeah, and it's also and it's also the thing that you know Laguna keeps dreaming about in the in the in Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> this year is called a bubble group, and it's very creative naming. Yeah, very. Okay, creative. so no, okay, so nobody is going to to mention the fact that I actually know something about Final Fantasy VIII. God damn it! I hate Final Fantasy, but come on, guys. Cool, no, I heard it. I just wanted to sand. I just want to sandbag it because I haven't gotten to eight yet. God damn nope. it. That and nobody cares about eight. Hey! Everybody, everybody hates eight. So. Hey, come, wake up! We're fighting. But I don't. Bastard. Wanna. This is just you as a theme. In Internet nerds at midnight. Yeah. No, you at midnight because you have a job. I'm up all night, bitch. <laughs> Ow. Anyway, another thing about the bubbles that you want to take into account is that uh, they'll drain your magic if they hit you. So be careful. Anyway, we got the big old bull key. It looks like a Tauros. The Pokemon comparisons keep staying alive. It's just still a really dumb staple. <laughs> like, I'm glad that it didn't keep itself going. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, if I can praise losing some of the dungeons in Breath of the Wild, I can praise the fact that we don't have to have stupid fucking boss keys anymore. Yeah, that is so good, even though it's kind of replaced by the whole prerequisite kind of thing. <gasps> Look at that! We got the bow, guys! Who could have guessed that we got the bow? We got it, and it kind of looks like a croissant. <laughs> a croissant with a screen. A croissant. So, the different colored Stalfos have different properties. Like, you can see the ones with the white skulls throw their skulls at you. Yeah. Anyway, you're supposed to use the bow and arrow to fight these guys, you see, you just... Or don't be an idiot like me in the same. But yeah, I don't really need need it, it's just yeah, you, you can deal with them. Go. Yeah. Or you can I just take it. it like an absolute champ. Hell yeah. Link is a man, damn it, even if he was only 13 years old. I still love this theme. Oh, it's so good. This theme? Yeah, it's really good. Ah! Ah, got him. Wow, I can't believe I hit him with a swipe of my sword like that. You were so ah. lucky, man. I was. Wait, actually, <laughs> hang on. Do something really quick for me. Can you pick up arrows that you shoot into a wall? No. I've already, like, here. Nope. Oh, because it looks like you actually picked up some arrows that you got, that you dropped into a wall before. Uh, I think, uh, it might have been an arrow drop on the wall. Or, Maybe. you know, the arrow just, Probably was. or, you know, the arrow just despawns, so. Yeah. Now, here's what sucks about having low uh, magic in this area, is that I can't really use my lantern effectively. So, it is what it is, but, oh, you well. know. Oh, well, indeed. Yeah, we're gonna, cut, we're gonna cut past this, aren't we? Yeah, well, I was just gonna show off that this is a room with uh, bubbles real quick. And you can get a ton of money, and it's kind of worth the trouble, because you can... If you, you're you like me, and you got your magic powder, you just poof them. And one of them is already out of the way, so you just get a ton of free money with a little risk. Goodbye. My money. Goodbye. Now, I wish fairies kind of did something that I think they do in later games where they refill your magic bar. In this one, they didn't really think that far ahead. So, it is what I it is. I don't think, I don't believe that they refill your magic bar in future games. Possibly could be me misremembering, but I thought there were some that do, but I don't know. Okay, you know what it is? I think it's that the great fairies refill your magic when you visit them after you get your first upgrade from them. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, like, okay, yeah, you want to use the bow and arrow on these guys because it will just kind of kill them in one hit if you can get the shot off, but yeah, the they move so fast that it's kind of annoying. Yeah, has been shown off. Yeah. Sorry for the background noise. Oh, it's okay. What happened? Just, um, a notification. Yeah. Yeah. All good. Balls! Oh, no, the dreaded balls! balls. Everywhere. Which reminded oh, no. me... Which Balls. reminded me that I need to use the... that I need to change my sword, so... Yeah. Ow! <laughs> that. What do you do here? Because it looks like you're stalling. Uh, you have to wait this out, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Wait, just stand in the very center. It's that very center, we... I'm getting there! Close enough. If you have to wait this out, then we can wait it out right here, because they physically can't hit you here. Woo! We're invincible! You do not have to wait it out. You have to step on the switches. I just saw the switch in dents on the floor, by the way. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, but the middle least... place is a good place. The... Ow! <laughs> it's Mess a good place. He says attack. he instantly leaves it and gets hit, therefore proving his point. <laughs> Let's clap yes. it. I hate the fact that we discovered this. <laughs> and yes, I also love it at the same time. It's hilarious. Wake up, dickhole. What are these red ones called? The red ones are also called Igors, but they're just stronger versions. Strong Igors. Boink. Uh, I love all that, slash. all that money. Oh yeah. All that 505 rupees. You can get a lot of rupees in the game if you're smart. Got one. 
Ow! They hit hard, though. Be careful. Yeah, they're basically stronger versions of the original. They take two hits and I think deal twice the damage is probably the gimmick. Yeah. They might as well be called glass cannons because that's what they are. If you have uh -huh. the bow and arrow, yes. So anyway, these... we have the first boss of the game. Yeah, these are the Armos Knights. Yeah. And it's a really dumb thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of a cool little idea, but it's it's basically you just have to shoot the uh, arrows a couple times to kill them, and they get kind of sit in the line and then go after you. And this is where you're you really have your chance to pick them off. This They're not that hard, but this is where your channel this is where your channel arena fitted for space invaders, basically. <laughs> you know you're not wrong. Link the space invader. Like, like, this, is, like oh. this is basically you taking out space invaders. Nope. Then the last one gets really mad. <laughs> it's almost like we killed his brethren. He's angry! Oh no. He's trying to slam dunk you. He's trying to, he's trying to meteor smash me, or uh, uh, spike me as actual smash players call it. There we go. As actual smash players, I think, as if he is weirdly implies that he's not. As in what Sakurai, as in what, not that shit Sakurai tries to tell us, as in what we actually call it. Yeah, he calls it Meteor. We should have saw him putting Cloud in the game from that moment alone. So my strategy to recommend at this phase is to get him actually to take a while to come to you, because when he goes on like a when he goes on those little spats, he can actually start getting up way faster. And that's where he can start getting dog piled, like I was kind of getting. So basically, the longer he takes to get to you, the longer he takes to get back up. Yeah. yeah. How much health does this guy have? Or do you have to use? He the has arrows? a lot. Oh, oh I died. Wait a Okay, right. Oh well. Cut! Oh well, fairy! Oh! Doesn't wait. count! Yeah, oh right, you have said. a fairy. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, you saw nothing! A... I was expecting it What the only... fuck?! <laughs> 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 what the shit?! <laughs> Whatever, oh. give me my fucking heart. <laughs> we did it! No, you know what? Round of applause, because this is the that, weak, weak, That weak, hurts weak, to weak. see. That's just... Yeah, That's I, just got, I, got, I got tra I got trapped because he just did the quick jump on me, so it's like ah, and then the fact that it was not one of those the last hit, whatever. You got the Give me my courage. goddamn gym badge. Take it to Sarasola. Take it to Ocelot. Two pennants remain. Oh, That's God. what gives you a free. Uh... Anyway, now that we beat that travesty of a dungeon, we're gonna call it part. No, let's cut back and then uh, get to Shalashashka. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. I mean, I don't think we really need to cut that much. He's only like over here. No, that's the witch's hut. Oh, oh, that one there. Yeah, I need my little pointer. Sorry, Legon. Just for okay. you. That is so useful. It is unintentional usefulness. It's I'm gonna also gonna, gonna pull be, a Yule again. It's probably gonna be really useful in Super Metroid when we get to that. Yeah, it is. Because it's Cause like, that I'm going go to I'm gonna go to blue square over here. Which one? There's like ten bl blue squares. Right. I'm doing the Yule. All right, you got the pen of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, I can't remember, I'm old, an order of knights protected the royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War of Evil against Evil that took place when seven wise men created their seal. Among the, the descendants of the Knights. Yeah. That was the best. That was the best. A hero appeared. A hero appeared, and not the one from Dragon Quest, you dickhead. I see. Ash, I believe in you. You can become a Pokemon master at this rate. She so get the remaining gym badges. Right? Gotta catch them all. <laughs> And carry this with you. It's a treasure passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. The red tunic. Yay! We get. The, er, no, we, the Pegasus. No. Boots. Yes, we get the Pegasus boots. The oh, red yeah, and the belt the made me mistake it for the red tunic. Yeah, I almost forgot it was. But yep, this is where you get the Pegasus boots for beating the first dungeon, which are an item and that now, are almost essential to a lot of secrets. 
yeah, yeah, now we can essentially go back and go through most of the game and grab a bunch of secrets, starting with one in Kakariko Village, but I don't think we'll get around to that this part. Yeah. Well, nope. Yeah. Our next part, we'll see you, and we'll break the king... We'll break the game Next time, we're gonna let's, go find secrets at the Pegasus boots. Yeah, let, let, let's, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. We're Next time, we're gonna go grind, we're gonna go hunting for people's hearts. Yeah. Just stop running into a wall. We'll to you. In, in the next part, we're going to break, we're going to break the game. But I need to so, get the yeah. Mew! This is yeah, how I get the Mew! See you guys next part where I get the Mew!